Designed for polar orbit, VIRS offers advanced imaging and radiometric capabilities for Earth-observing missions. Let's follow the photon path through the VIRS sensor. It begins with the opening of the cryocooler doors to cool the sensors to very low temperatures, which reduces detector noise and improves instrument sensitivity. In the heart of this sensor, we see the rotating telescope assembly at the center. Removing the telescope's housing, we see the baffle rings that minimize the effects of scattered light. As the photons strike the primary, secondary, and tertiary mirrors, light from the Earth is deflected from those mirrors onto a half-angle mirror. From there, light is directed into the aft optics assembly to be split into three focal plane assemblies that operate in the visible, near-infrared and day-night band, as well as in the short, mid, and long-wave infrared wavelengths. As the telescope rotates, the half-angle mirror turns at one-half the rate. Both sides of the mirror are used to make sure that all collected light is directed to the detector arrays. A key advantage of the VIRS design is the placement of the primary mirror at the end of a long baffled tube of the rotating telescope. This shields the optics from scattered light within the instrument. Besides Earth, VIRS looks at deep space to measure the zero signal level and at internal calibration sources. The various reference objects help to produce very accurate measurements across the entire spectrum of collected light. The VIRS rotating telescope rejects glare very efficiently, and the nadir aperture doors help block most of the seasonal solar radiation. These advantages limit glare impingement over the year, yielding sharper imagery. VIRS provides highly accurate and timely data for a wide range of scientific, civil, and military applications.